I'm Dan Gukin, and here is this week's bonus word tip. You kids get off my lawn. Fill in the blanks items come in two flavors. The ones you want printed on a sheet and digital fill in the blank gizmos. This video covers only the printed style. The wrong way to make a fill in the blanks line is to just keep whacking the underline key. A better way is to set a dot leader tab to wit, name, underline, rank, underline, serial, underline. To set a dot leader, open the tabs dialog box. On the home tab, launch the paragraph dialog box, then click the tabs button. The right margin as seen by the ruler is just over six inches, so I'll set the tab stop at six inches. Right tab stop type, underscore dot leader, click set very important, then click OK. On the ruler you see the tab stop set, but nothing clues you into the dot leader, that is, until you press the tab key. Name, tab, there you go. These lines print solid, unlike the underscore character in some fonts, which may have a dashed appearance when printed. Also, this technique doesn't work well for blanks in the middle of a paragraph, though you can still finagle it. The second type of fill-in-the-blanks item is a content control, which is a dynamic document element. It's available on the developer tab if you have that tab visible, and you probably don't. A content control prompts for input, and you've seen them before in the various template files. Look for another tip soon that covers the developer tab and content controls.